morning viewer welcome to our first activity here is a breaking news yes a serious incident occurred when a russian fighter jet collided with a large us surveillance drone over the black sea on last tuesday the incident has triggered a us diplomatic protest and arrest concerned about the possibility of russia could possibly recover sensitive technology The US and Russia had conflicting accounts of the collision between a MQ-9 refueled drone and the Russian Su fighter jet. A Pentagon spokesperson said that the Defense Department could declassify and release a video of the collision. Defense officials said that the drone has not been recovered, but the Pentagon declined to say whether any effort was underway to gather the debris of the refueled. what the us said according to the pentagon and us european command two russian su27 aircraft dumped fuel on the mq9 which was undertaking a routine surveillance mission over the black sea in international airspace they said that the russian jets flew around in front of the drone several times for 30 to 40 minutes the russian aircraft then struck the profiler of the mq9 causing us forces to have to bring the mq9 down in the international waters according to air force general james hecker commander of the us air forces europe and africa the russian jets actions nearly caused both aircraft to crash pentagon spokesperson brigadier general pat ryder said that the collision likely also damaged the russian fighter jet but the Su-27 was able to land. He could, however, not say where it landed. The Pentagon, however, added that the drone was well clear of any Ukrainian territory. A U.S. defense official said that it was operating west of Crimea over the Black Sea. It is not clear whether the collision was accidental or international. However, both sides agree that the Russian aircraft was trying to intercept the drone. The Russian person. The Russian Defense Ministry said that the U.S. drone was flying near the Russian border and intruded in an area that was declared of limits by the Russian authorities. It is also said that the Russian military scrambled fighters to intercept the U.S. drone. It claimed that as a result of the such maneuver, the U.S. drone went into uncontrollable flight with a loss of altitude and collided with the water. Russia had declared broad areas needs to flights since the 2014 annexation of Crimea and much before the Ukrainian war. Moscow has accused the U.S. of flying surveillance planes too close to the its border while ignoring notices issued by Russia. The ministry also said that the Russian aircraft were scrambled to intercept the drone, but it did not use weapons and did not come in contact with it. The U.S. State Department summoned the Russian ambassador Anthony Antonov to a meeting on Tuesday with Karen Donfrain, the Assistant Secretary of State for Europe. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said, "We are engaging directly with the Russians against at senior levels to convey our strong objection to this unsafe, unprofessional interest which caused the downing of the unnamed U.S. aircraft." The US will be expressing its concern over the unsafe and unprofessional intercept White House spokesperson John Kirby said. In 2020 Russian jets crossed in front of a B52 bomber that was flying that was flying over the Black Sea and flew as close as 100 feet in front of the bomber's nose causing turbulence. Russian jets have also bashed warships of the United States during exercises in the Black Sea. Military intercepts either in the air or at sea are routine and have never taken place a number of times with Russian aircraft in the Pacific. especially in the north last month us fighter jet intercepted two russian tu95 bombers in international air space of alaska's coast and escorted them for 12 minutes the pentagon said the mq9 refer is a large unmanned air force aircraft that is remotely operated by a two person team it includes ground control station and satellite equipment which has a 20 meter wingspan the team includes a rated pilot who is responsible for flying the aircraft and 
and enlisted a crew member who is charged with operating the sensors and guiding weapons. It has been used on a regular basis in Iraq and Afghanistan for surveillance and airstrikes. The Reaper can be both armed and unarmed. It can carry up to eight laser-guided missiles including Hellfire missiles and other munitions. The Reaper can loiter over targets for around 24 hours. It is 36 feet long and 12 feet high and weighed 4,900 pounds. It has a range of 1,400 nautical miles and can fly at a height of 50,000 feet. BMW Zippo, Project TV.